In this video we will see how a folder can be synchronized. For that we create a new separate folder, but you can also choose another already existing folder too. We name the folder for example sync. Now we go to BitTorrent Sync and click on Add a new folder. In the next line where it says folders to be synchronized, I go for Choose and take the folder I just have created. We have to be careful when it comes to shared secret. If it is the first folder we create and which should be synchronized with other devices, we click on Generate. But if there is already a folder which should be synchronized with that one, we have to write down the shared secret of the other device. Let us also have a look for that in a moment. As it is the first folder I would like to synchronize, I go for Generate as already said and copy the key into the clipboard. Then I confirm with OK. In the next step I change to Windows and type in the just generated secret. In Windows I already created a folder which is also named Soon. Now I change to the web interface of BitTorrent Sync, which I can open with the icon on the bottom right information taskbar. Here I click on the folder symbol and like in Linux, I choose the folder I would like to add and click on add. Now on the far right hand side I click on the three dots and go for preferences. Then we click on view key and we'll see that there is already a key which has been automatically generated, which is of course no problem. We just click on update key and take the key we just copied in the clipboard in Linux. Then click update and close. Now there appears a green tick which means that the folder is being synchronized. For testing that we just go to sync folder and create a new file which I just named test. In that file I write something to you. And then I check up on the Linux computer whether the file appears there too. And as you can see, the file has already been synchronized. We just click on the file and we reload it. And as you can see, the file is on the Linux computer too. 